morning, everyone. Welcome to the Greensburg Salem High School Senior Show. Today is the last day for seniors to attend their classes, and it's pretty exciting. Seniors, here are some important events for next week that are going to pertain to graduation. On Tuesday at 10 a.m., there's the Senior Picnic. The Senior Salute Parade will also be taking place at 6 p.m. On Wednesday, there's a practice graduation in the auditorium at 9.30 a.m., and on Thursday, there's another practice at the same time at Offutt Field. Tickets will be distributed on that day. And of course, next Friday is the last day of school for everyone, and the graduation will commence at 6.45 p.m. Make sure to arrive at 6.15. Be there or be square. For our senior lineup, we have Joshua Savinda on weather and Jason Rose Young on current events. How's the weather, Josh? Thanks, Tyler. For the weather, Friday it will be a high of 67 and a low of 45 with an 89% chance of precipitation. Expect heavy thunderstorms. For Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 41. And expect rain showers with a 55% chance of precipitation. On Sunday, it will be a high of 65 and a low of 45. And it looks like it's going to be sunny with a 5% chance of precipitation. Now off to Jason with current events. Hey seniors, this Friday is finals, so hope you're all prepared and ready to go. And after that, it's senior week, with some great events like the senior parade, and most importantly, graduation. So I hope you're all ready to wear your cap and gowns, I sure know I am. Along with that, our track meets have some meets this Friday and Saturday, so let's make sure to brief for them. That's all I have for you today, GS. Now back to Tyler. Thanks, Jason. Today we have two independent stories, one from Landon Pereka and from Sean Sykes. Hello, I am Sean Sykes, and for today's story, I'm going to tell you how to be safe at Twin Lakes. Twin Lake Park is a very popular place for people to hang out and relax. With activities such as fishing, canoeing, and even camping, making a park a must-go for the summertime. But things have changed. Due to the rise of COVID-19, many people have been stuck in their homes, unable to go anywhere. Most places had to close to the public for a while. Of course, we did reopen everything back up to the public such as schools, stores, and restaurants, and even the national parks such as Twin Lakes. When the park reopened, it of course as many will make sure that the visitors will not have to worry about catching COVID-19. However, due to its more cluster area, social distancing might be a bit of a challenge, depending on how many people are there as well. So what are the safety rules that we need to ensure in order to keep the public safe from being infected with the virus? First thing that we need to do is to always keep our mask on. Never take it off in a social place no matter what. Masks help stop the spreading of germs from your mouth and nose. If you think that one mask is not helping, then wear two masks instead to stop the spreading of COVID-19. Another thing to help combat this virus is social distancing. Now, a place like Twin Lakes, it will be a bit of an issue to social distance. It can be a cramped location sometimes, but there is always a solution to anything. If you stay your distance and or tell anyone that they are too close to you or anyone else, you can help stop the spread of COVID-19 in Twin Lakes. With all this information, you can hopefully stay safe and have a great summer. under a rock that 2020 had to be the worst year any of us had experienced. The major contributing fact to this had to be COVID-19. This virus challenged many ways we conduct everyday life, especially in nursing homes. With the virus being able to run rampant with older and younger people. As an employee of New Haven Court at Linwood, I have been battling the virus helping deliver food to the residents of the nursing home during the struggle. As 2021 rolled around, we heard news for the vaccines starting to be fully ready. And as a uh, frontline employee, I was one of the first people in the country to receive the Vice Pfizer vaccine. I received the, the first dose on January 23rd, and two weeks later, I had gotten my second dose. With a new vaccine came the skeptics and the anti-vaccination population. 
I want to help put out my experience out to people to help spread the right information to make sure everybody gets the vaccine to help put a final nail in the coffin of the virus. After initially getting the shot, it didn't hurt at all. It was the most lethal, least painful vaccine I had ever gotten. But a few hours later, I did experience some side effects. But this was mainly chalked up to my body reacting with the virus again. Back in December of 2020, I had been exposed and I caught COVID. I had a minor case, but I still felt horrible for a week. Imagine having, it's basically, imagine having concrete on your shoulders constantly and no mood to move around or exist. Also, I lost my sense of taste and smell, making eating weird. Now going back to the vaccine, I felt off after getting out, but that's because I had COVID previously, and these side effects do line up with what the CDC has offered, which are as follows. vaccine does not have a microchip in it that controls people for those with tinfoil hats on. It is also giving, not giving me any sort of disease as most people think they do. In conclusion, I hope my story and explanation has helped everyone become somewhat aware that the vaccine is not bad and does not cause all the obscene things that people have been spreading around on the internet. Just please follow the CDC guidelines and what official medical people release as they are the correct ones and not some random person on Facebook or Twitter tweeting about random facts. Thank you for listening. Before we go, we the seniors just want to say that working on video production has been an honor. It's been very fun working all these years. And with that said, I am out of here! Woo! <laughs>